Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. For those of you who don't know, my name is Samson, and in today's video, we have probably one of the most unique vehicles that you will ever see. But before we get into it, if you're into all things automotive, firearm related, make sure that you consider subscribing because we do all things from engine builds down to car shows, of course, the reviews, and we do gun reviews as well. So make sure you consider subscribing. But in today's video, we have the Rhino GX by ussv now this vehicle in particular is a completely custom vehicle it is based off of the ford f450 chassis so if you actually dive into it and you look into a lot of components you're going to see a lot of similarities between this and the ford f450 but overall this is a complete redesign and one of the absolute most unique vehicles that you can get this one right here like i said it is custom coming in right around 400k if you want to buy it but in today's video we're going to dive into some of the features of this custom rhino gx talk about some of the things that i like about it some of the things i think you'll definitely like about it but just like that let's get into the video before we start with the front of the vehicle you might notice the absolute size of this particular truck now i am 6'5 and this truck it makes me look extremely small very very beefy truck very very raised truck I guess you could consider this more of a luxury SUV. You do get your goodies on the inside as well as all these goodies on the outside. But starting to the front, you do get this absolutely massive front bumper and front grille portion. You can see you do get your USSV badge right here in the center, letting you know where this truck came from, letting you know just how special it is. Love how opened up they made the front of this grille, forcing as much air as they can into the engine. Now you can see you do still get your standard Ford F450 lights. Not a whole, whole lot's changed for those lights. They do give you a little bit of extra oomph right here with these projector bulbs, allowing you to have a little bit more display at nighttime if you do decide to take this out off-road, rock crawling, whatever the case may be. They do give you just a little bit more light in terms of these lights and the ones on the top, as well as these ones that you get on the front bumper. Coming down to this front bumper just for a second, you can see you do have this very, very beefy metal front bumper. If you need to ram somebody with this to get past them in the case of the apocalypse, you should have absolutely no issue. You do get, like I said, your rock crawling and fog lights just in case you decide to take it off road. You do get these massive hooks in the front that I can only imagine allow this thing to be strapped to some type of helicopter and carry it overseas if you need to take it to war. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very rugged look on the front of this car. Now, I do hate that they did use a little bit of plastic trim on the top. It You can tell right now, just from sitting out in the sun, this plastic trim has faded. And with the off-road rugged bumper like this in the front, I don't think you really need this little bit of extra trim to try to make it look uh, a little bit more civilized. Just go ahead and take it all the way. But overall, very, very nice look to the front of this car. Now, it also is very, very square. You'll notice that you do have an extremely, extremely wide stance to the vehicle with these extremely wide fender flares, allowing you to have uh, the ability to tuck these massive rims and tires underneath them. But overall, very, very nice look, very beefy look to the front of this truck. Coming from the front around to the side so we can talk about the hood of this vehicle, you do get this extremely aggressive hood that has these two, almost what I would consider pillars on either end. Now you are housing a massive motor underneath this hood, which we'll get to in a little bit. But as far as the hood itself, very, very aggressive hood. It was hard for me to actually get you guys up here high enough to show you because of how high this truck is. Coming from the hood to the side of this vehicle, you might notice exactly just how long this vehicle is. You're talking about a land yacht of a vehicle, which when you think about being off-road, normally you want a little bit of a shorter wheelbase, but in order to give you the most rugged, the most capable setup that Ford can give you, or I guess USSV in this particular case, they did give you an extremely, extremely long vehicle. Coming up to the front fender section, you do get these extremely wide fender flares as eight inches to each side of the vehicle. And it is bolted on. I like the, I like the bolted look. I feel like it really adds to the off-road ruggedness that this vehicle is going with. You do have these extremely massive wheels and tires set up at all four corners. You're looking at a 20 inch rim with 40 inch tires. 
Now the, the wheels are custom from USSV themselves. They are forged, made in the USA. Now going behind the wheel setup, you would think you would get some massive six piston Brembo caliper braking setup. However, like I mentioned, it is still just a Ford F450 for the most part underneath. And so you do get some very, very massive pistons, but it is a two piston setup instead of a six piston that you would expect. Coming up from the wheel entire setup to the side of this vehicle, you can see it is, like I said, absolutely massive. And it does give you a very, very nice armored look to it. The vehicle is very flat on the side and then it is sloped up at a very nice angle in order for you to have that more armored vehicle look that you're used to seeing in the military. You do get these extremely big, extremely wide mirrors that sit out almost the same amount from the car as these fenders do. These probably sit out an extra foot on the side, whereas the fenders sit out about an extra eight inches. Now going from the actual side view mirror to, like I said, the side of this vehicle, you do have your step bar completely custom from USSV. It is allowing you the ability to step up into this raised vehicle a little bit easier. You also have your steps on the side. If you are to carry a quote unquote battalion with you, then they would have the ability to be able to stand on these sides on the side of the doors and be able to ride down the road with you that way that you aren't alone when you're going against the apocalypse you do have one of these on each door really really nice setup now coming to the rear of the vehicle same wheel and tire setup you do get those 20 inch rims with that 40 inch tire the same custom setup from ussv with that forged made in the usa look very very wide tires and very very nice off-road setup you do get that same flared out fender in the back that you're accustomed to seeing in the front now like i mentioned with people being able to stand on the side right here you do have your grab handles and so if you are going out with a posse or a battalion like i spoke of earlier you will be able to stand up here hold on to these grab handles and be able, I don't know if you guys can even see my head right now because of how massive this truck is, but they would be able to go on the side and fire down the road if need be. Or if you just plan on taking this, like I said, rock crawling, then you can still have people on the side spotting you and just having the absolute time of your life. Now the rear of this truck does have the same slope design on the rear of it as they do on the side as well. Now, some people may think it looks a little bit like a pinhead you might think of Patrick when you see it. Patrick the Starfish got a little SpongeBob. However, uh, as far as the design, I like the slope look. I feel like it really adds to that off-road look, to that armored look that uh, they were going after. And overall, it is a very, very nice design. Now, as far as the rest of the vehicle, you do get this absolutely massive spare tire on the back to make sure that if in the event one of these blows out, you do have the ability to go in, replace it, if you need to one thing to note about the actual uh contraption i should say that the actual spare tire sits on it is extremely heavy extremely heavy and so in order for you to actually get the spare tire out of the way to access this rear uh tailgate portion you would actually pull this pin lift up this latch and then the spare tire moves out of the way it's very very heavy uh very very heavy if you don't have any muscle you may not be able to pull it out. Uh, but when you talk about having an off-road rugged armored vehicle, that is something that you're gonna have to deal with because a lot of these components are beefed up for the safety of the occupants inside. For the rest of the rear, you do have a very, very aggressive rear, rear bumper. It is metal like it should be. You also get your uh, trailer hitch. If you decide to tow with this vehicle, one thing I think would be absolutely sick is having this vehicle towing an absolutely massive boat behind it. I feel like that's something that a lot of people will enjoy uh, with you going down the road. And if anybody is able to purchase this vehicle, I strongly suggest that that is something that you consider as well. You do have, again, these hooks in back, just like you do in the front, so that if you do end up needing to pull somebody out or get lifted up by the helicopter, you are able to. One interesting thing to note about the rear of this vehicle is that the actual exhaust tips themselves have these fins or grills in them. And what happens is a lot of times in, especially the military, people will toss certain things like grenades in your exhaust to try to go ahead, blow the vehicle up, give you catastrophic failure. USSV makes sure that that is prevented 
by giving you the grills and these dual exhaust tips. Very, very nice to have and something that you don't see on almost any vehicle unless it is made for extreme heavy combat. Now coming up from the exhaust tips to the actual rear hatch area of this or rear tailgate, I guess you could call, you do pull it open just like this. One thing that I should note is that all the doors are extremely heavy. They are armor plated and they do have two inch thick glass and so it is extremely heavy if you don't work out if you don't lift you might have a little bit of time trying to open them but coming into the rear compartment you do have a little bit of storage you can see you do have this cut out this is where the armor plating sits and you will have this not only here but at all the doors this is where the armor plating sits in order to make sure that you are safe and protected you also have this third row for rear seat occupants very very nice setup to have let me go ahead and close this up. One thing that I should mention before closing it up, you do have these pins right here that do lock. And these pins are at all the doors, so they lock into the actual frame to make sure that nobody can get into the vehicle without your permission. But how about we go ahead, stop taking a look at the outside of the vehicle. How about we go ahead and go to the front and check out the massive engine that's powering this extremely heavy vehicle. All right, guys, I'm coming up under the hood of this absolutely massive truck it's not a whole whole lot to see but we do need to go over the specs up under the hood of this you do have a 6.7 liter turbo diesel v8 now you can get this option with either a 6.7 liter turbo diesel v8 or a 6.8 liter v10 this one does have the diesel option means that it comes around with 440 uh, horsepower right around 860 pound feet of torque now this is made it to a six speed automatic transmission and so i do wish that they offered it with the manual i feel like manuals are a little bit more rugged a little bit harder to break as far as your zero to 60 this does have a surprising zero to 60 time of 8.3 seconds which is absurd when you think about the fact that this vehicle weighs in right around 14,000 pounds now i mentioned earlier about how long the wheelbase is this is an extremely long vehicle. We're looking at a wheelbase of right around 140 inches, which is absolutely insane. But overall, a very, very powerful engine. Uh, I do like the diesel option, but how about we go ahead, leave this engine, go ahead and take a look at the interior of this vehicle to see what type of luxury it offers. Getting into this Rhino GX, you do actually have to use this step because it is a little bit hard to get in. But once you are in, you are in. And I will tell you guys, you do have an absolutely beautiful interior. You do have beautiful materials everywhere. You do have leather on your dash. Everywhere else is either piano black or aluminum. The leather is in this black and tan combination. So it really helps with that off-road armored look as well as give it a nice contrast on colors. You do have a beautiful suede or Alcantara material. I'm almost scared to touch it because I do not want to make it dirty just because of how beautiful it looks. Overall, a very nice interior on the front of this vehicle. The air vents themselves are still finished in that piano black. Absolutely beautiful. Now, as far as the headliner goes, you do actually have a screen at the top with a whole bunch of different host of buttons. Now, there are cameras positioned everywhere outside of this vehicle. So with that screen, you are able to actually go in and look and see the different angles on the outside of the vehicles, very, very nice to have. And it's a very, very uh, complex system to say the least, but overall, very, very nice. You do have a bit of a pass-through in the rear where the passenger compartment is. You do have a bit of a pass-through to actually get up through the roof. So if you do have somebody on the inside that does have a machine gun or some type of assault rifle, they can go up through the roof of this car and be able to survey the area and if need be, actually go in and start firing on enemy attackers. Very, very nice setup. You don't get a sunroof in this vehicle for obvious reasons, but that pass through is just as good to have. Coming back to the front of this vehicle for a second, you do get your Rhino GX script custom on the dash for the passenger side. And as far as the infotainment system goes, you do get an Alpine system. Very, very nice, very customizable. You do have a lot of things you can go in and configure as far as your radio, uh, different types of settings for your climate control. They did do a lot of custom work to this truck to make sure, or SUV, should you call it, to make sure that it does feel special for the actual person who buys it and to make sure that it is one off. 
Very, very nice setup. The infotainment system is very responsive. You do have the ability to turn off your trash control. You also have these auxiliary ports. And with this auxiliary switch system, you can go in, flip on different lights. If you do want to add some lights, you can also do that as well. However, this truck does have enough lighting, but it allows you the ability to be able to go in and turn on certain, certain things that you don't want on all the time, which is really, really nice. Now you do have the ability to also switch through your different drive mode, so to speak. Now this truck is all wheel drive for obvious reasons. If you're gonna have an armored vehicle, it has to be all wheel drive. And so you do have your two high, four high, four low, various, uh, various drive modes that you can go through. Overall, very nice setup to this center infotainment system area. Coming from the center infotainment system down to the actual seats themselves, as far as the middle seat goes, you do have a drop down seat but it also folds up for you to be able to allow somebody else to sit here. When it drops down, it does uh, function as your actual center armrest. It does have the USSV badge right here stitched into the leather and the leather is very, very high quality. You also have this uh, set of cup holders right here in the front. You get a little bit of storage as well as another set of cup holders. So if your front passengers want to have four drinks, you can have four drinks, who's gonna stop you? Coming around to the actual driver's side of the car, you do get a very nice steering wheel setup. The steering wheel does still have that beige or tan and black color scheme. You do get a custom setup with the USSV badge in the center instead of the Ford badge. You guys do have to keep reminding yourselves this is for the most part in base, a F450, but you do still get those same controls that you would be accustomed to seeing on the F450. Nothing too, too special about the gauge cluster assembly. You do still have your speedometer, your tachometer, as well as gauges for being able to tell things like your oil pressure, your temperature and such. Now, in combination with the actual screen that you get on your ceiling, you also get this PA or intercom system in this SUV as well. And so what you could do, pick up this right here and you can actually talk on it, be able to make sure that your voice is heard outside the vehicle very nice thing to have very nice setup and it's a very unique setup as you do not see them in a whole lot of vehicles aside from police vehicles coming to the actual seats the seats are extremely lush and uh very comfortable in this particular vehicle you don't have a lot of bolstering like you get in some seats for the most part it is just all out just comfort you do have the diamond stitched leather that same beige and black color scheme you do get the USSV badge stitched into the actual seat itself. Overall, very nice setup on the seat, very comfortable setup, uh, and, and I don't have any complaints about it. When it comes to the door panels, you get a very basic setup for your door panels. It is completely leather wrapped, and you do have a little bit of storage at the bottom of the door panel as well as in the middle, that same color scheme. Very, very nice setup, and uh, the door panels, uh, to have them completely leather wrapped, when a lot of manufacturers actually go in, just leave them plastic. In some cases, it is a very nice feature to have. Now how about we go ahead and we hop into the back and we see what the back of this USSV looks like. Now getting into the rear of this USSV, one thing that you'll notice that is extremely uh, unfamiliar to a lot of people is that the rear is raised up so much higher than the front. It sits almost about a foot higher. Now, it doesn't bother any of your headroom because the top of the vehicle is extremely tall, but it is just really unusual to see. Your head is almost uh, out of, uh, uh, for you guys, probably out of visibility from me. So you do get a little bit of added protection, but it is unusual to see and feel when you have your head coming up over the actual window itself. But very nice setup. The bottom is carpeted. You do have the same deal with the door panels as you do in the front, that same leather wrapping with the little storage compartment in the center. For the most part, it is very plain, very basic. One interesting thing about the actual door panel is that you do have a little bit of a cutout for you to be able to get some air back here. So since these do have two inch thick windows at all corners, you are unable to roll the window down and utilize your rolling down functionality. And so you do get a plated opening that allows you to be able to open it Get a little bit of airflow a little bit of wind into the rear of this vehicle by way of that little very extremely small 
cut out but for the most part it is a very unique design to the window but a very plain design to the door now when it comes to the actual center of this rear uh, compartment you do have your climate control right here in the front now it is uh, on this almost like a, a pull out table type contraption now you do have your two cup holders as well as a little bit of storage on the bottom it looks very nice with the piano black and the aluminum struts that the table is sitting on very very nice setup it's just very unusual to see in a suv like this now one thing that i failed to mention that i think is very important for you guys to know is that this suv does have a liquid spring suspension which means not only can you configure your suspension for certain things like sport mode touring mode a little bit more comfortable mode you do also have the ability to raise and lower the suspension to your liking based off of what you need at that particular moment which is very very cool to have but overall very nice look to this rear compartment area you do have a little bit of a drop down uh screen right here so if you do want to do something like play games or just watch a little bit of something on tv you do have the ability to do that with this alpine system very simplistic setup to the rear of this vehicle the same with the seats you do still have that diamond stitching beautiful beautiful plush leather with the ussv badge in the center for the seats the actual controls are on the side right here for you to go back you press the back button for you to go forward you press the forward button now as far as the third row goes you do have a third row in this vehicle for you to be able to fit a few more people in the back it does come with cup holders and a very very uh nice almost uh cocoon based setup this rear of this vehicle does taper off and so you do feel like you are surrounded by a lot of security in the rear the way that the vents are set up for the top of this truck is that they all come out through the side and so it does look very very cool very very homey and i can't say that i have seen any other vehicle that offers the same level of uh just straight up chaos that this vehicle has in a good way and just like that guys that is a full as full as i can get review of this extremely custom four hundred thousand dollar rhino gx by ussv now like i mentioned guys they are extremely rare to find this is the first one that i have ever seen and with them having the price tag starting at about two hundred and fifty thousand, but with options being able to go up to about four hundred thousand like this one it is an extremely niche vehicle you have to really want something like this or need something like this to have the inclination to go ahead and get it but make sure that you guys please like comment subscribe let me know what you thought about this extremely unique vehicle as well as other things you guys may like to see come to the channel love interacting with you guys but just like that i'll catch y'all in the next one peace